Pero saan? Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko matandaan, sir. Ako namin ay invoke my right against self-incrimination. Getting blood from a stone. That's what drawing out answers from a defiant Janet Limnopoulos was like. At times feisty and other times disengaged, Napolis makes sure of one thing. The senators probing the scheme at the Blue Ribbon Committee hearing would not get anything from her. Napolis denies every accusation thrown her way. The biggest denial? That she is the mastermind of the scam that convinced the lawmakers to channel their pork barrel to her bogus non-governmental organizations in exchange for hefty kickbacks. At wala kayong kinalaman under oath sa anumang transaksyon kaugnay ng PIDAF na may kinalaman ang mga kongresista at mga senador. Opo, Your Honor. Nanipiso ng pera ninyo hindi nang galing sa anumang scam na may kinalaman sa NGO o PIDAF. Opo, Your Honor. Na yung mga NGO na pinorma na nakinabang sa PIDAF, hindi sa inyo yun. Opo. Her whistleblowers shoot right back. Sir, uh, nagsisinumaling siya kasi bago po ako pumasok, 2002, meron na siyang mga kliyente. Uh, In-advise po ako ni Ms. Janet Napoles na mag-form ng 20 na NGO plus one NGO na pangalan sa mother niya. But Napoles sticks to her guns. She raises her voice when Senator T.G. Gingona insists she personally knows lawmakers and their staff who allegedly benefited from the scam. What do you mean kilala? Personal na kilala o ano? Ito ng senador, di ba, binoboto natin. Kilala ko sila pero hindi nila ako kilala. Nakakaawa nga ako yung mga senador na nagtrag yung pangalan nila at mga congressman. Hindi yung totoo. She also denies legislators received kickbacks from her. Sa tingin nyo, kung mga ganong kickback gaya ng sinasabi nyo, do you think ang isang mababatas o isang chief of staff pipirma ng mga voucher? Kaya po, parang kasinungalingan ho yan. Wala namang hong mga voucher, voucher, ano, at wala hong ganyang bigayan ng pera. Her former employee testifies Napolis ordered the shredding of vouchers that documented the receipt of commissions. Ang sabi naman po niya, kailangan ishred lahat ang mga evidences para uh, in case na magkaroon ng, ng search warrant, wala pong makikita na makaka-connect sa kanya doon sa mga NGOs at saka sa mga legislators. Uh, dahil po sa dami ng mga papeles na nais-readies, bumili po siya ng heavy duty na isang shredder para po hindi mag-overheat. Asked about her properties, she admits owning the luxurious Ritz-Carlton apartment in downtown Los Angeles, but insists the money came from her husband's coal business in Indonesia. Asked to describe her wealth, she floors the gallery with a massive understatement. Uh, you admit na mayamang ka. You have a lot of uh, money and resources. Hindi po. Hindi. So, for, for example, uh, how, how would you consider yourself? Uh, average middle class, upper middle class, mayaman? <coughs> Tama lang sa buhay. As the day wears on, Napolis turns more uninterested, refusing to engage senators. Lawmakers try convincing her to speak, but soon turn frustrated. A anyway, Mr. Uh, Chairman, I'd like to ask a lot more questions, but uh, the proper time no, after the senators have asked the question, maybe we can discuss whether the witness is being evasive or uh, abusing the power or the right to, uh, or using mistakenly or, uh, or um, uh, knowingly using the right against self-incrimination, because I've noticed Matalino naman eh. At kaya naman niya sagutin yung iba, but selective kung kailan naalala at hindi. The hearing ends earlier than planned. Gingana insists her appearance at the Senate was not a waste of time. He says her demeanor was very telling. Satisfied because there was a stark contrast na nakita ng taong bayan na yung isa, general denial lang ang sinasabi, hindi ko alam, wala akong alam, hindi totoo yan versus very, very, very positive assertions with details. Like I said kanina, pati yung black number, lot number, sinasabi nila. Faced with those details, who would you believe? It is the first time the Paulus faces the Senate, but Gingona says it may not be the last. The senators will convene to plan its next move.
They finally got her into the Senate chamber but virtually got nothing from her. Now senators must deal with moving on. They say they are considering citing the policy in contempt for evading questions and admit they may go as far as filing perjury charges. Natasha Gutierrez, Rappler, Manila.